this is either genius or I just committed a technological heresy. Yes, I decided to run Android on my nine-year-old iPhone SE. The reason I'm using a phone that's this old is that I just want to know how well this thing runs it. And when your iPhone gets old and does not get app support anymore, can it just run Android and get newer apps that way? The way I'm going to run this is basically by running a virtual machine. Now, anyone, if we can just go ahead and open App Store and get UTMSE and do virtual machines like this, if you're tuning already. But UTMSE kind of sucks because it lacks the hardware acceleration that's required for virtual machines. And Apple restricts those to App Store apps. So you're going to need an iPhone that's jailbroken to take full advantage of your phone's power. Since this one is jailbroken, let's actually go ahead and download the full version of UTM by going to their website and getting it from here. So I already got the installation file and I also got the Android ISO file. This is the x86 version. So we're going to do some emulation here. Nice. Not all iPhones are jailbreakable. So to see if yours is, you're going to need to check out the link down in the description. But again, mine is jailbroken with Trollstore. Trollstore is an app that lets you sideload things. Oh, we got it. Open. Now that it's installed, you're going to need an ISO file. And again, I got this ISO file from official Android x86. This is a very old version of Android. I think it's Android 4. The latest one is 16 by comparison. But uh, using a phone that's nine years old and you're going to do some emulation. So but if this doesn't work, I also got a jailbroken iPhone 10R. So I'm going to try on that one. Now it's time to actually create a virtual machine. So plus and you cannot virtualize on this one i'm not sure which systems can virtualize but i think m1 ipads can virtualize so we're just going to go ahead and emulate there's no option for android but since android is based on linux sort of kind of let's go with linux 512 megabytes should be enough let's give it single core because this phone runs on dual core cpu and we're going to choose the iso image that i just downloaded from android x86 Okay, let's give it two gigabytes. I got like three and a half gigabytes almost. So that should be sufficient. Sure, that's summary. Uh, I don't care. Let's, 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 let's see if this actually boots. Okay, that is interesting. So we're going to need to pull up a keyboard and let's do live. I don't want to wait till it installs. Display output is not active. What? What does this mean? Should I choose a different display output type? Yeah, it's worth a shot. Um, hmm. Let's try this one. It's because it says GPU supported, so whatever. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Okay, we're gonna need to enter. Please don't say display output did not. Please don't give me any errors, please. Dang it. Uh, let's do like regular VGA. I don't know what advantage that has, but maybe it's going to do better because we're emulating a PC hardware, not like ARM Android. Okay. Nothing to be excited about yet. Please don't give me display errors. <gasps> Detecting Android X86. Found it. This is how I properly clean my screens. It's definitely not gonna scratch my display. Come on, really? I expect it to be slow because we're emulating right now and not actually virtualizing. But I mean, come on, that's too slow. We got something. I'm not sure what that is. Although I believe there's kind of shortcut that. No, maybe like shift and. I swear there was some kind of like shortcut that allowed you to switch kind of display outputs. Oh no. Oh oh no. Oh I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not touching anything by the way. I'm not, I'm not touching anything. I'm just gonna turn off the keyboard. It's it's doing something. Maybe it's glitched. Uh it didn't work. Or display outputs. No, I swear I was tapping this when all the display just, just went black. And we have this. I think we might just be booting right now. Also got real period correct Android to do a comparison. 
Oop, there is genuinely nothing on the screen. Maybe this is actually like booting right now. <gasps> no way, we're actually booting right now. Get in the animation too. It's in like five frames per second, but like it's still an animation. This took about 10 minutes to boot Android 4. Mind you, Android 4 came out in 2012. When I said anything about running newer apps on this thing, I didn't think uh, it was gonna take this long. I, I kinda wanna take that back now. You know what, I've had enough. Let's start the timer. Uh, I've been waiting for too long, right? Half hour. It's been half hour. We're still on the freaking Android screen. I'm actually so pissed right now. The phone is at 26% and it's kind of warm. It's really, it's real warm to that. It, is, it has a case on. It's probably gonna be warmer inside the, inside, without the case, but. Uh. I got bored. I'm just gonna transfer the videos to my computer because like, boop. So I literally waited for an hour and then this thing restarted and I'm not waiting for more again. I'm not giving up though. I really wanna try to go back as far as I can to get literally the oldest version of Android installed on this. Oh wait, this was Android 9 that I was trying to boot. What is this? So it turns out the one I was trying to run before was Android 9. Of course it's not gonna work, so let's actually try Android 4 this time. It should be easy, right? Okay, and now we just wait till this guy downloads. So it finally downloaded. Where's the boot drive? And this is the thing. So go ahead. Okay, good sign so far. Let's go ahead and tap enter. Uh, for some reason it restarted. Uh, let's try booting again. It's getting really hot by the way. So, you know what? I'm just gonna make a new VM. Should give us the thing, so... Okay, let's run it live. I'm not even gonna bother installing it. Maybe I should try running Windows on this in the future, because like... Why not? You know what, I'm just gonna give it two minutes. If it works, cool. If not, I'm just gonna try Android 2. Three seconds. Dang it. What is this? If you ever tried running macOS in VirtualBox, and not check like generic display something, you get this error. I'm not sure how to fix this in UTM. You know what, uh, is this UEFI? Maybe we just can't handle the UEFI stuff. Let's try, uh, disable UEFI. Okay, so I disabled UEFI and it actually booted, so it wasn't like a display issue, but more like, uh, UEFI boot stuff, so. This is going to boot. I'm sure this is going to boot. This is also like, a 16 year old version of the android but sure of it is gonna work <gasps> android it is android look at that that logo is ancient i've i've i've, I've, I've just had enough i started feeling like this is like 12 30. it is almost three now <gasps> it booted oh boy we're in we're in how do we navigate this Oh, whoa, we got a freaking cursor. I saw a cursor. It's, it's gone now. Oh, no. How do I unlock it? Do I? Oh, no. Uh. Hello? You know what? Let's do it landscape. Cause, yeah, that's better. Is this like a tablet version? Oh. <gasps> We're in! This is legit Android. I really want to see what version this- I mean, I already know this is 2.2, but I, I just want to know what it says in settings. Wow, this guy runs smoothly. So, where's- where's settings? Oh, there we go. 
Oh boy, this is not a very good looking UI, by the way. I do not miss old Android. Not this kind of old Android bit. Um, I accidentally tapped on something and I have no idea how to go back. Oh boy, that is smooth. You know what, I'm just gonna turn off the light. Yeah, that's better. Oh no, I have no idea how to use this. What is this, bro? <laughs> so driving me crazy. It's, it's annoying. Oh, right, by the way, I forgot to turn this off. Get, get out. Pretty sure it should have like a bottom navigation bar with the back button on it. It doesn't show up. And I don't know how to go back and I'm not gonna restart this. Oh, wow. Okay, it's a lot smoother now. How do I go back? There's no back button. Uh, there are no notifications. Maybe there is a back button, I'm just not aware. I'm just gonna reset it. You know what, that's, that's as far as I can get. Every time I wanna go home, I have to restart the phone. That's painful. But we'll try an iPhone 14 in the next video. So uh, all that's left to do is thank you guys for watching. So uh, yeah, I'll see you around.